Okay, folks, uh, today I'm going to talk about registering add-ins to Office Online using query parameters. And if any of you have ever worked with add-ins in Office Online, you know that the registration process is currently manual. And it can be a little tedious to have to do things manually. It's also not great from a developer experience in that every time you make a change to your manifest, you have to manually upload it again. And it's just not a quick process. So uh, if any of you have ever used our Yo Office tool to create an add-in, you probably know that you can automatically register your add-in in desktop. And I'll give you an example of that. So this is a Yo Office project, and it's just a task pane project. So if I go NPM start here, you'll see that we boot up Word and we automatically register the add-in. Starting the dev server right there, booting Word, and see the add-in was automatically registered. And that's a really nice uh, thing from a developer standpoint. It saves you the tedious process of having to do it yourself. The add-in will load here in a second. It's maybe just slow on my machine. But uh, we have no similar capability for web. And we haven't had it, and people have wanted it for a while. Uh, not only do, do developers want it, but we also would like it from a test standpoint, because every time we make changes to our project templates, we have to manually test them. And if we had an automated approach to doing it, it would allow us to, which each time we make a change, to uh, have a test that, that goes through and executes and does it. So I just want to show you the current process of registering an add-in in Word, for example. So I go insert add-ins, upload my add-in, browse, select my manifest, upload, then I have my add-in. So this is not uh, really great from a developer standpoint in that you have to do all these manual steps. And each time I change the manifest, I have to go through that step again. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear my cache here for the sake of my demo. So this add-in is not here anymore. I'll go ahead and close this. Okay, so what uh, I've been working on over the past quarter is an automated approach to registering add-ins. And the way we're doing that is by appending query params to the end of a document URL. So with this document, for example, I just grab the document URL. And if you look in my package.json here, I have a document config setting. And that's just the document URL, exactly what I copied. And then we've updated our tooling set so that you can run our existing npm start web script. And what that'll do is that will start the dev server. It'll look and see there's a document parameter here, and it will construct the query params. And the query params will look like this. So what we have here is we have the dev server port, 3000 I'm running in, the manifest file name, which is just my manifest.xml here, and then the manifest GUID. And the manifest GUID is just a unique ID from here. And so I'm gonna show you here how running the start web command will automatically register that same add-in using those query params. Okay, now npm run start web. Okay, so the first time you run this process, it's going to ask you to opt in to develop what we're calling developer mode. And uh, that's basically saying that you've given the okay to allow for automatic registration of your add-ins using query params. And we added this as a security measure. Our uh, internal security folks wanted some mechanism in place so people just don't send you a URL and maliciously cause you to add an add-in 
to your documents that might cause some sort of nefarious things to happen. So we opt in after we've carefully read all of the documentation, of course. And then what that does is it sets a value in your uh, local storage that says you've opted in. Then the next time I run this, that value is stored. We see that you've opted in and we won't prompt you for that ever again, unless you clear your cache. Now we're saying to you this warning, this warning is saying, hey, we're gonna go ahead and register this add-in that's being served up at this URL. Are you okay with that? If you say yes, we will grab that manifest GUID and also put it in local storage. So every time you subsequently register that add-in, we'll see that it's already been registered and we'll never show you this prompt again. So we'll say yes, and then your add-in's registered. And so if we open up this task pane, we have our add-in and we run this here and it says, hello world. And then I've also added a command in here called demo time, and that does the same thing. So we can go in here and then subsequently make a change to our manifest. And we'll just call this demo. And then we'll run the command again. And your add-in will be updated automatically with that new task pane title. And so you're not having to go through those manual steps each and every time. And you see no prompts this time. Demo. So that's a, a really nice workflow. Now, sort of the uh, holy grail that we've been searching for is the ability to do F5 in Visual Studio and register your add ins and then attach the debugger to the browser session and be able to debug. So I'm going to demo that next. So I'm going to go and Click on my debug here, and I'm going to do Office Online. And you're going to see what you're going to see here is the browser open, and it's going to open in Chrome. And the reason I'm using Chrome and not Edge is because we're having problems with the Edge debug extension attaching right now. I have conversations going on with the Edge folks right now about why that is. So for the sake of this demo, we're going to use Chrome. And so I'm just going to do this. Opened in Chrome. Now, Chrome, I haven't uh, gone through the steps yet. And so the local storage is not updated yet. And so, and by the way, Chrome, for some reason, is slower than Edge in lo loading uh, Office Online documents. So we'll just play some elevator music while this is happening. There we go. I already set that flag to uh, opt in. And so I'm going to go, yes. And our add in is registered. So let's go ahead and open this because we should be attached now. OK, so I clicked on that demo time. And you see how we hit our breakpoint right there? So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. And then I'm going to change this paragraph color to red. So we can do stuff during debug time and it'll show up and then continue and go back to our document and you see red. Similarly, I can go in here and change this while we're attached and this should build again. There, our task pane finally showed up. And then when I execute this again, demo time, did we lose our breakpoint? Oh, I think I changed in the task pane. Yeah, there we go. I think the task pane debug session is not getting hit after doing that sort of live build. Uh, I'll have to look into that. But uh, that's the the kind of process that you can do. And uh, it sort of gives you a really good uh, dev loop where you can make changes 
immediately upload your manifest changes, which is running a simple command, attach the debugger. This is something that we've wanted to have for a while. And it, you know, internally, it's a, a really nice thing for us testing, but we think it should be a, a good thing for developers as well. Now, what I demoed this morning was Word. You could also do this in OneNote now. And ultimately, it will be supported in Word, OneNote, PowerPoint, which I just checked in last night, and Excel, which is in code review right now. Uh, you may be asking yourself, will Outlook have this? Outlook will have a different registration mechanism, and it will not be using query params as we are using here. It will use the, uh, as proposed right now, it's going to use some PowerShell commands that allow for automatic registration. So that's about all I have. Uh, if you have any questions, I guess you can put them in the chat window and I'll try and answer them. Cool, thanks, Cordy. Sure. Uh, just uh, out of curiosity, so if folks wanted to see these updates and try them, is this like a Yo Office thing? Like you just get the latest version? So uh, this, the ability to use query params is available in fast food right now for Word and OneNote. And so if you were to want to try this out yourself, did I just, I think I killed my uh, uh, desktop session. I can put the query params in the chat session and they can append those to the end of their document, document URL if they're in fast food. If they're, uh, you know, in production, it's not turned on yet in there. Uh, the tooling that I showed you is not going to be available until we've turned it on in prod in production. So okay. hopefully in the next month, uh, we'll have all this available. But if, if people do want to try it out right now, they're in fast food, they can run the query params that I'll put in the chat window. Fast food, I assume you mean Office Insiders? Office Insiders, yes. Uh, yeah. Like if you were to go into your... Uh, Office online and you look at uh, about and it'll show you the version. It'll tell you if you're in the inner or outer rings. If you're in the inner rings, you can use this feature. If it shows that you're in the outer rings, it's not available yet. OK, awesome. Thanks, Courtney. Sure.